highlighting more or less what capex number uh, uh, what uh, uh, fiscal deficit or other numbers will be will be there that uh, has been spoken a lot about uh, my submission here is that this budget broadly if you ask me is more of a growth oriented budget will create lot of opportunities for people this budget has given a direction to country that what we are going to do over next and uh, uh, many of the people who are expecting that there are no tax cuts they are not they are not soaps given to uh, but we need to understand unless and until this tax bracket base will not broad base uh, it will be very difficult to service all the needs of the country uh, in the given scenario so so i think i think uh, uh, budget doesn't mean that equity markets will rally because the budget is good it has it will boil down so that what come to the nilesha sir has uh, you know said a very beautiful tweet if you actually see that the returns or the type of money which fi has moved out look at the retail participation what they have done we are only 57 now another important aspect which you need to understand is i i said five minutes back about unorganized that is happening not only in gst collection part but in investments also we have seen lot and many people now coming into trade Terms of they are opening DMAT accounts every month. There are thirty to thirty-five lakh DMAT accounts getting open. Eight to ten open. So it is it is actually uh, uh, catching up fast. Many of the uh, speakers are saying they are fair weather friends, and maybe uh, maybe uh, they are coming because equity markets are doing. Uh, actually, uh, of little different of view and opinion that uh, this is not a generation where. Uh, where they don't have access to internet information this generation i call them gen z with 5g testing into crypto forget about equity market my sense is they are doing their homework well they shop they they and then they they shop where they get the best of the best discount my sense is they, these players are a combination of serious few of them are uh, are there in the market for immediate gratification uh, which will obviously uh, over a period of time either they have to change the way they are thinking or they have to fall by the side but on a broader to ask me we have almost 7 to 8 uh, uh, calls on a daily basis coming for set queries uh, people from various uh, income strata monthly salaries are looking at how they can start in set one obviously there are not uh, much good returns for the side secondly what we people have seen in over last one and a half two years that if you give time to your investments your money go people keep on asking for uh, you know what uh, what idea you can share with us uh, where we can make multi bagger returns then 12 13 mutual funds whose nav is more than 1000 now that means 10 to 20 23 years have become 1000 that means they have grown 100 times so if you are not a master of this uh, this trade an investment you are working and doing something else it's better to to invest in a managed portfolio like mutual fund you have more and you can have 5 7 10 20 percent maybe on a higher side money which you can uh, 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 stock portfolio or maybe uh, 5 percent where you want to experiment something new but broadly give time and i time and again i keep on talking about this if you give time to your investment uh, this is the big morning machine not the return part return can be 1 to 2% less but the time is on your side so uh, uh that's from my side uh, and i would like other my fellow uh, i think they, they would like to cover maybe thank you thank you for this thing thank yeah. you very much yeah. but uh, gurmeet ji is missing uh, speaker request has been sent so gurmeet was with me only we were together on a call we just left okay we left in his car we were together in a car I think some network issue must be Ma, probably uh, because KBC multiple KBC. time I have sent it. Yeah, you please join in a while. You please see, sir. Okay, you please see, sir. Okay, Shetty, I just joined. What what is the context? Sorry, I I did not. So context is uh, what is your take on the budget? Uh, a lot has been spoken as I shared. You know, I was talking to them and I've given suggestions on what we think and how how you see this budget and then what is the impact of this budget on equity markets? So that's the context on which we are talking right now. yeah so i i, I think the, the budget is already behind and uh, the market has uh, you know uh, factored whatever it had to the bond markets obviously don't don't seem to be happy with 10 year now 
uh, inching closer to 7%. I think over the years, uh, you know, what we have seen is the incremental of impact of the budget uh, has been on a diminishing side. While the last year budget was a bit of a surprise because the government expanded the fiscal deficit, had a very expansionary policy. And we saw, if you lot of lot of us don't recollect, the 50,000 such checks came uh, after the uh, after the budget. Uh, my sense is, I think, uh, what it is important is that to look at budget not only from a budget, but what has been happening for economy uh, other than budget, including the budget. So you have to look at how it started with cutting of corporate taxes. What the government is doing is through PLI schemes. I think what they are very smartly doing is is helping create capacities through very measured incentives. So, in you know, there is a quote that instead of giving fish for free, you are t- teaching them how to fish. And I think so. There are two ways where you where you have a where you can hand over money to the client. One way is what the West did, give free money to the client. The second way way is you 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 do capital expenditure, create capacities, give. Give PLI schemes, give incentivize uh, you know various sectors, including exports, and let the the productive side of the economy generate uh, you know uh, the output for you. Uh, so my sense is this is continuity uh, in that direction. Thirty five percent jump in capex is welcome. Uh, government was very very comfortable on on tax collection, especially uh, both corporate and, and uh, uh, direct and indirect taxes. They could have. Uh, lower the expenditure and and cut down the fiscal deficit. They chose not to. They want to support growth. And, and you know, I remember Deepak Parikh saying on the budget day that if India can do 8% GDP growth for next four years, uh, you know, a lot of the things can be taken care of. So growth uh, is is the answer to you know a lot of the problems we have. Um, great, 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 sir. Yeah. So from a the competition. So from a uh, from a equity investor's standpoint of view, my advice would be that uh, budget is done and dusted. Do not just get carried away simply seeing that oh budget so much. Yeah, Sakit ji, anyone? Yeah. So uh, so good evening, everyone. Uh, so I'll just uh, quickly touch upon the budget and market. Uh, so so over the years, if we look at you know the importance of budget has gone down down slightly in a way that you know now government keeps on taking important. decisions even between the years one important thing which has happened uh, especially in the last two covid years is the pli scheme uh, which has given uh, thrust to a lot of sectors and we have seen that uh, many companies and sectors are getting benefit out of it right and if we look at if we track high frequency data and some other data point there is a good indication that capex cycle right is is, is indeed uh, uh, turning out to be good and even in this budget the key highlight was the um, you know the uh, spend for the capital expenditure right so so if if we have to uh, take if we have to look at the budget from the perspective if there is any one important takeaway so so for me important takeaways were the was that you know even the government is um, you know having all the policies in place and they want to promote the uh, capital expenditure and and exports right so from that perspective i think uh, india is in a sweet spot uh globally uh, you know to take on the things and you know so growth uh, so earning cycle uh, earning upgrade cycle or you know high growth which has been missing over the last one decade has indeed started and if we don't see any black sea any kind of event or any negative event then india seems to be in a sweet spot from the gdp growth perspective as well as from the earning growth perspective for the next couple of years right so that is on the uh, budget side apart from that there was nothing um, major uh, positive or negative which could come out of the budget uh, you know now coming back to the market uh, since budget is done and dust, done and dusted so if you look at the uh, last couple of years post pandemic uh, uh, crash of march 2020 last two year has been really great for everyone i mean be it small cap mid cap large cap any kind of investor uh, has made a very good amount of money right but of late what has happened is especially in the last three months small caps and micro caps and sme stocks and even the stocks with with no backing has also started going up and there is a bit of frenzy in that kind of market right so so i believe uh, 
you know and we haven't had any uh, even a small correction over the last two years so i believe it's, it's time to be uh, cautious especially from the short term perspective obviously long term we know we all know that india is going to continue india is continue to do well and probably earnings will catch up so things will be good but from a shorter term perspective especially when um, things have been in frenzy liquidity is uh, slightly reducing and probably we will have a rate hike as well from the fed perspective uh, around 7% right now and i think interest rate hike will start so i believe one should be cautious in, in, in cautious in, in, from the perspective that exposure uh, to the stocks should be limited only where one has high conviction stocks which are backed by the earning growth right and hope stock should not be a part of the portfolio and one should uh, cut down the beta of the portfolio so i would put it this way that you know one needs to have a balanced approach now if somebody was aggressive uh, over the last 6 month it's time to be a bit of uh, balanced approach and you know if one can uh, you know go through the next 3 to 6 month volatility without uh, you know having a much of the negative impact on the portfolio then he will be able to get benefit of the next 3 to 5 year kind of uh, uh, bull run which we will have so that is my uh, sh- uh, you know brief overview and i think now i let other speaker to speak and then probably later on once we have a q and a uh, you know we can discuss uh, other things also thank you arjo thank you very much so aditya yeah you can I... what is your yeah. view on startups what is what is the view on startups regarding this budget uh actually i don't think that there were any major uh, announcement uh, on the startup side of it uh, during this budget however the government has already done a lot of things to simplify life for the startup space that is there uh, so uh, that was one part of the thing but oh, on the overall budget that is there uh, as expected the government will try to support uh, growth in the economy it will try to get back to the development path that it has it has on its agenda ever since uh, the covid-19 crisis has hit the economy or the inf crisis has hit the economy the growth has derailed massively over the last 3 4 years and what the government is now trying to do is it is trying to spend on all the sectors where uh, apex where where uh, heavy employment can be generated and the economy can start to come back that is one part of it the other part of it is government is also trying to incentivize manufacturing or china plus one to a great extent through the pli scheme that is there uh, it has already done a corporate tax cut that is there and on top of it uh, it is trying to uh, make sure that it also gives incentives for the uh, electric vehicles so that slowly and steadily the massive auto sector which contributes to about 50% of uh, india's gdp transforms itself towards the electric vehicle side of it so overall uh, there was nothing uh, spectacular as expected the budget try to uh, push government's uh, development agenda that is there and overall uh, as i had put out a tweet that budget aayenge aur budget jayenge uh, kuch farak nahi padta hai ab uh, achhi company ne pehle bhi compound kiya hai aur wo aage bhi jaake compound karti rahegi aap achhi companies ki taraf dhoondiye aap is result season mein companies ki baat suniye ki wo ground pe kya keh rahi hai मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट के कॉल होते हैं मैनेजमेंट के कॉल अब यूट्यूब पे भी अपलोड हो जाते हैं विद इन फ्यू आवर्स लिसन टू द मैनेजमेंट लिसन टू दोज कंपनीज गुड कंपनीज कैन कंपाउंड रियली वेल डोंट वरी अबाउट द बजट द मैक्रो विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट सेल्फ ऑफकोर्स देर विल बी इंटरेस्ट रेट हाइट साइकिल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एक्स चाइना बट दैट शुड नॉट बी द बेसिस ऑफ योर डिसीजन मेकिंग इन टू एक्विटीज यू हैव टू बाय गुड कंपनीज एट एटलीस्ट डिसेंट वैल्यूएशन if they are available in the market uh, there is nothing cheap in the market but uh, at least at decent valuations if you are able to buy uh, some companies there is massive potential in the stock named india there is uh, india will do really well over the next 5 7 10 years and you have to make sure that you are in the game to win the game and you are invested in equities right thank you very much thank you very much okay, okay. so what's your view about fias in uh, regarding indian equity market <laughs> look uh, it's very simple uh, stock market mein uh, let me use hindi now stock market mein fii kya karenge dii kya karenge wo to hamare control mein bilkul bhi nahi hai in fact fii have been uh, pulling out money from the markets ye sab hamare control mein nahi hai so generally agar aap long term investor hai 
as we are we are long term investors in the market we tend to not sell or sell or buy too much that is there so in sab baaton se kuch farak zyada nahi padta hai because aapko ye dekhna hai ki company ka performance kaisa ho raha hai how is the company really doing on the ground if the company is doing well uh, even expensive companies can continue to do really well that is what you have to keep on continuously tracking there is a very interesting uh, observation that i have made uh, whenever there is a twitter space or whenever there is a stock tip uh, video that is there it will get thousands of views however uh, the company company call transcripts that get uploaded on youtube they get 100 not even 100 views 200 views that are there but the real answer to which stock you should be holding or you should not be holding lies in those transcripts that are really there or the company management interactions that are really there so look fiis will come and fiis will go still good companies will continue to compound they may have a, a barrier uh, they have they may have one or two barriers however uh, good companies will absolutely continue to compound uh, very handsomely over the next 5 7 10 years so dekhiye uh, fiis to paise nikal hi rahi hai but usse aapke investment decision pe kuch farak nahi padna chahiye aapko investment decision lena hai ek ye dekh ke ki aap kitna invest kar sakte hain asset allocation maintain karke और नंबर टू के उस कंपनी का वैल्यूएशन कैसा है उस कंपनी का परफॉर्मेंस कैसा है इफ द कंपनी इज परफॉर्मिंग रियली वेल एब्सोल्युटली नो नीड टू सेल द स्टॉक ऑफ कोर्स देयर कैन बी करेक्शंस ओवर द लास्ट टू इयर्स इट हैज बीन अ वेरी पिक्यूलियर टाइम एंड देयर हैज नॉट बीन अ वेरी गुड करेक्शन हावेवर देयर कैन बी अ करेक्शन ऑफ 10 15 20% हु नोस बट अच्छी कंपनियों को बाय करने की अपॉर्चुनिटी है या राइट सो योगेश जी हेलो Yogesh ji uh, yes sir yes can you, hear, can you hear me thank you. there is this outage in mumbai uh, so the to- total outage from jio so we are all stuck here uh, thank you for organizing this doctor sir so very quickly <clears throat> i just wanted to make few points uh, at least on the regulatory aspects or the developments which have taken place i mean everybody knows by now so nothing much to speak about but there is few clarity which is emerged on the crypto bit uh so uh, i mean that is the last but uh, digital banking uh, is one development uh, which uh, obviously everyone knows perhaps that uh, digital banks will act, will be uh, will be banks which will arinder can you hear me hello hello yeah sir i can hear okay. you yeah am okay. i audible yeah you yeah, are well, completely audible so yeah. you are a part of uh, portfolio allocation so can you tell us something about portfolio allocation yeah i think i think that that's a very very important aspect uh, in investing in anyone's journey uh, budget sahi bola aditya ji ne budget aayenge jayenge i think compounding will keep happening and uh, it generally happens very late so one has to be patient the allocation bit has to be thoda sa perfect bhi ki zarurat nahi hai aap <laughs> thoda sa idhar udhar bhi honge but you need to be सर्टन के हाँ जो आप ले रहे हो यू हैव कन्विक्शन एंड किसी भी चीज़ में सर आई थिंक एलोकेशन बहुत ज़्यादा ना हो दैट 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 द बेट आई वॉन्टेड टू से एंड आई थिंक डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इन पार्ट इन ऑल द डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स इन ऑल डिफरेंट कंपनीज इवन इफ यू हैव सम ज़्यादा आपको पसंद है कोई सेक्टर्स आप उनमें ज़्यादा अपनी एलोकेशन कर सकते हैं बट आई थिंक स्टिल डाइवर्सिफिकेशन एलोकेशन इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Going ahead, 15. क्या बोलना चाहते हो डाइवर्सिफिकेशन मतलब कितने स्टॉक्स कितने परसेंटेज एलोकेशन ये आई 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 फील 15 टू 25 फाइव स्टॉक्स आई थिंक इससे ऊपर आई थिंक मैनेज करना उससे ऊपर पढ़ना भी किसी के लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है सही में तो आई थिंक या सो आप हां ठीक है वॉच लिस्ट में यू वॉच लिस्ट में यू कैन कीप 50 60 स्टॉक 70 स्टॉक्स बट आई थिंक ओन तो आप 15 20 करेंगे तभी आप उनको पढ़ भी पाएंगे अच्छे से ट्रैक कर पाएंगे राइट सो व्हाट शुड बी द मैक्सिमम एलोकेशन इन अ पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक सर इन माय ओपिनियन जो मैं फॉलो कर रहा हूँ जो मैं सीख रहा हूँ आई थिंक नॉट मोर देन अगर आप थोड़ा उसको डाइवर्सिफाई करके भी कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड रख रहे हैं तो आई थिंक टेन टूल्व से ऊपर आई थिंक इट्स वेरी रिस्की इफ यू डू दैट ओके थैंक यू सो जनक कैन यू मी हेलो जनक कैन यू हेयर मी हेलो जनक Yes, Diman uh, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audible. You are being thrown off regularly. So, what sectors are you bullish on? So, I am a uh, so rather than sector specific thing, I am quite bullish on few themes actually. 
so i am a quite follower of thematic investing and uh, government every now and then regularly throws up nuggets in the way things are moving directionally for us okay so uh, every year you see lot of lot is being said around uh, electric vehicles and the uh, adoption is now faster than ever to be honest there is lot of con calls that i see uh, recently i was hearing con of one of the companies uh, auto ancillary into the ev space they are more bullish than ever before okay erd and digital space is buzzing like anything we have management coming out and giving guidance is like never seen before okay at least not in the era that i am following i am following the markets okay but uh, i believe that uh, when the management themselves are who who tend to uh, err on the side of the pressure, giving such good guidance is we can def- definitely have some air of optimism around us okay apart from this fintech the platform plays Uh, defense is one sector that is coming up uh, with the whole atmanirbhar and uh, make in india play there is lot of emphasis that has been given to defense in the budgets that i see so manufacturing and resiliency so these are uh, some of the things 5g uh, telecom so the whole idea is rather than being bullish on the sector you look uh, what what kind of teams are towards the sunset okay and who are the players who are able to migrate from this sunset to sunrise industries so a, a, a very good example is there are companies who will be legacy but a very good example is something again uh, this is not an endorsement or a suggestion person i never do that but the way reliance is constantly moving from uh, its oil to chemical business to into the era of uh, new age uh, energy stuff uh, the retail stuff uh, the, the telco business the digital business the way they are and such a giant it is like india's largest company that is moving at the elephant moving at a pace of cheetah so you have to look out for such winners across the uh, capitals basically market cap uh, uh, mid cap small caps and large caps so you will find a lot of the companies who are who are disrupting the upcoming spaces so that is my two bit uh, believing in on the thematic investings okay thank you so punit ji am i audible have we lost punit i don't know doctor sahab doctor sahab ha boliye doctor sahab just add mohit and vanshika both of them are there i i have uh, sent request to, i have sent request to them i also sent request to you also for to co-host this space please accept I, that okay 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 i'm driving okay just to just to add to what uh, our earlier speaker has said my request to everyone that these are personal views uh, there is nothing uh, which uh, we are recommending here uh, there right. is all individual views and when it come to investing you have to evaluate your pros and cons at the same time uh, this is not going to be a, a year which you have seen in the past um um i want to be very upfront with all of you if you want to take tomorrow call also just look at a large cap basket of the funds as well as uh, uh, large cap stocks also again there no recommendation but just try to play safe there is no easy gratification which is available in the market companies which will do well as 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 the underlying earning you will see them doing well but promises will not be seen uh, in a very positive way it's been done over a period of time again and again so so uh, uh, and just don't look for tips because eventually you need to understand this is your hard and money just don't look for tips we are here to just do a healthy discussion and the flow of the discussion we have very eminent speakers uh, my right definitely so are there so i think i think uh, uh, i want uh, uh, aditya gurmeet puneet everyone to add what i've been talking because there are a lot of youngsters who are listening here and i i i want them to understand that you know it's a it's a no, so so i'm a i'm a runner okay i'm a cyclist and a runner yeah and i run so it's not a 100 meter race it's a it's a marathon 21.2 km or maybe maybe 50 km 100 km you have to give time you have to give time and time will take care of everything as a compounding machine so don't expect you have deploying money tomorrow and it will double as a team i see energy team is 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 a decade uh, team which has come uh, i think this this decade is now a more of a digital and energy team which will happen and there is a lot talked about ev we are talking to a couple of ev startups where we are raising capital for them let me be honest with you a uh, lot of froth will go in ev also because when you have so many players coming in now you know a uh, few will do very well few will few will do okay and few will not survive and i being straight with this another important point this is not only a ev ev revolution on the energy space there will be a hydrogen there will be a, a green energy and many of the companies so tomorrow you think the reliance industries or ramco 
they'll see everything going down the drain on their business side. There's a lot of work is going on on the technology front also for these companies also, where they're working on for zero discharge. So I don't know when this will happen, how this will happen, but uh, we are heading for some good time in, 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 uh, with respect to Mother Nature, and uh, that will <coughs> create a lot of competition as well as it will create a lot of opportunities. Now, who will benefit? I don't know, but everything will coexist. Hydrogen, ethanol, uh, your uh, clean energy, uh, your solar solar energy, at the same time your uh, zero discharge on petrol, uh, diesel might come tomorrow. So everything will EV, everything will coexist. So the pie is huge. So so uh, I think, uh, interestingly, just look for those things uh, and keep all these things in your radar. Just rather than just be, uh, you know, uh, 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 just be uh, panicked about the, that you are missing the rally. If the scope, if the scheme or if the story is too good, then it uh, doesn't matter whether you come at 10, 20 and 40. If you have 10, 1 lakh, or 10,000, then you don't have to worry about it. So I think... Uh, do uh, evaluate your pros and cons while investing. Right. That's from my Absolutely side. right, sir. Absolutely right. So, Mr. Mohit Mr. Jangir and Mr. Neil Bayal, you have been sent uh, speaker request. Please accept and uh, put up any view. Mr. Mohit Jangir and Mr. Neil Bayal, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. And Mr. Mitsa, you have also been requested. Please accept the request. I have, I have sent a request to Neil also. Neil, Mohit, and Mit. Also, yeah, just a small, to... just a small interruption now. Can you guys listen to me? Yeah, right. Yeah, we are not okay. able to listen. We are, yeah, yeah, you speak, please. Okay. I've sent to Mohit, I've sent to Vanshika, I've sent to Neil. No one is accepting. That's the problem. Yeah. Today, uh, yeah, Dr. Sir, yeah, we are talking about 5G, air, 3G, and 4G. You know, <laughs> so, so, telecom is again a big sector which one can look at. Right. Some technology will come. Tomorrow, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Good if you want to add something. Everybody wants to hear from you, my Right, friend. right, of course. Gurumiji, <laughs> proceed. Yeah, yeah. So no, so I think I think I uh, I broadly echo what uh Shitesh and Aditya said that uh, control the controllables. I think uh, what FIs are doing, what what Fed will do in March, what RBI will do on ninth is is something beyond our control and we should not obviously we should take note of it, right, in terms of our positioning, but that is not something we should fret over in terms of uh, right and i and and i, I completely echo that and uh, you know and i have i have not seen i've been in markets for about last 19 years i have not seen uh, back to back years where you make keep making 25 30% kind of returns so some moderation some volatility is normal it's 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 healthy and uh, the near term uh, notwithstanding the medium long term trend remains intact uh, i have made this point umpteen times in various conversations that when I speak to promoters, I speak to entrepreneurs, I'm seeing a renewed optimism. Uh, you know, you pick any sector. Uh, so I was listening to Malik Mehta of, of Deepak Nitride and uh, I would I would urge everyone there is one interview he has on ET now to, to just go through it to understand how the speciality chemical business is shaping up. You know, he, he beautifully explained the... That is going to unfold, sir. Sorry? That is going to unfold, sir. Yeah, yeah. actually, so I'm saying, sector. No, no, I'm saying that uh, you know what Aditya also made a point, and Shadish made that spend more time on uh, listening to earning calls, what the managements have to say, right, reading right, right, financials. Yes. I think that that something is something which is in our control and will help us more. Talking of uh, few themes, Shitesh covered the energy theme. I think, I think uh, you know two three things which which are standing out for me is a. Uh, I think this home improvement and, and building material, I think, is going through a, a structural long-term trend. Uh, right. There is demand for new houses. There is demand for making existing houses better. There is demand for improving the standard of life. And that will get reflected in consumer durables, cables and wires, paints, uh, sanitary wear, tiles, everything. I think this, this space looks very, very exciting to me. Uh, uh, and I think this is a more durable long-term trend. The other one, which which I completely uh, I I think is is financialization of savings. Uh, I mean, look at the way uh, and Nilesh Shah also tweeted a day back. I mean, I have not seen twenty billion dollars of selling in four months by FIS for a long long time. Uh, January they sold about five and a half six billion dollars, and despite that, the headline index uh, you know only went down about seven eight percent. So I think uh, the economy is showing some resilience. We got to see 
how these flows stand when correction or if 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 the selling deepens i think that still remains a question but it's very heartening to see that participation uh, so uh, companies which are in asset management sales depositories uh, mutual funds i think we have there is a there is a secular secular story ahead of us uh, and thirdly i think this uh, while this there's a lot of debate happening on social media on this api cdmo space i personally think pharma outsourcing is a huge opportunity uh you know which you, which will play which will unwind over the next uh, few years and and sometimes if good businesses have lumpy quarters uh, they go go through testing times on raw material inflation solvent prices in china irregular supply chains uh, they not be a bad idea i have not seen for example dbs lab correct 25 30% too often uh, but in markets like this you get those kind of uh, again again not a reco just 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 giving an example uh, so spend time there uh, um, see which promoter is doing capex which is more confident about business prospects uh, and spend more time that thoda sa level of research badhana padega hard work thoda lagega zyada uh, to to make money this year aur agar kuch nahi samajh mein aa raha hai to just simply keep sipping the the nifty 50 index ha sahi mein sahi bol sir um according to me api is going to be the new oil gurmit ji do you agree sir oil ka mujhe pata nahi hai naya oil naya hdfc bank नया बजाज फाइनेंस देखने के चक्कर में नहीं बोल रहा है सर साल हुआ है बट आई एग्री विद यू द द अपॉर्चुनिटी इज तो आप जस्ट टू आई आई क्वांटिफाई व्हाट यू आर सेइंग सो इफ यू लुक एट लार्ज कंपनीज लाइक कैटलेट लॉन्जा दे डू 4 5 बिलियन डॉलर काइंड ऑफ अ टॉप लाइन आ लार्जेस्ट कंपनी डज 300 400 बिलियन डॉलर्स तो रनवे बहुत बड़ा है दैट दैट पॉइंट इज इज वेरी दैट दैट्स माय पॉइंट या हाउ कंप्लायंट वी आर Uh, I think compliance will be very, very important, especially uh, the quality controls and etc. Which we have, I think companies with checkered track record with US FDA and other regulators, I think uh, uh, simply because they have corrected doesn't mean they are cheap. All right. So we can uh, revert to Punit now. Punit. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, most Please of our speak. friends have. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Right. This time. Yeah. Yeah. So most of our friends have uh, mentioned very nice points. So. Uh, not coming to the budget point exactly so i will take you back to what happened uh, with the covid time and what has happened till now so just one point before i go to that if you hear the uh, nirmala sitaram sitaraman's interview so she very well said in an interview that whatever spending government does it is actually in an intention to put one rupee spent to 2.95 multiplier effect so whatever budget has been made by her this time or little bit last time also so she said that she has actually made three to five budgets while this covid has actually happened so every time a new thing that has to benefit in a uh, benefit in to, has to benefit the country the society in a way which actually gives a multiplier effect so that was her intention what she has tried to communicate and she has also clarified that if that was not the intention it was uh like distributing money to the public in terms of rebates or like direct cash transfers what most of the governments have done actually that would have actually resulted a 1 rupee spent to 0.95 so whatever budget has come has actually uh like put those points into the picture that government's intention is to put more money to get a multiplier effect now let's go back to <clears throat> what has actually happened uh, during the covid time and uh, what has changed actually for india and actually for the world as a prospective what has hap- what has happened i'll just take you through that so there was a transitional event that happened as a covid in 2020 which was a very big space so cause of this event has actually given birth to commodity cycle now what has happened people have been thinking of climate change and which has actually led to change in process of energy transmission impact of climate change has been realized by different government so everybody is actually pushing for a large amount of capital expenditure on energy transmission not only on the renewables but also on the infrastructure this is actually a very big event that actually takes place in such uh, pandemics uh, whenever such pandemics happen just to give you a number the demand from these segments for steel particularly is approx 15 to 20 bil- million ton which is expected to grow to 90 to 100 million ton just because of this transition the kind of expenditure that has been put across the globe shall be somewhere around 2 to 3 trillion dollar per annum 
which is a very 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 big amount and this shall come into a uh, expenditure in form of aluminum and steel as an intensive and other metals and other commodities as as a space if you see now the big challenge is how this will come forward and how all the governments will go forward uh, with all these kind of expenditure so as uh, gurmeet also mentioned that the housing uh, sector you will see some kind of paints you will see some kind of uh, housing when people want to renew their house they want some material things like that so this this sector it will be a booming sector and actually the ministry has directly or indirectly said that uh investing into the infrastructure space investing into or giving the benefits where manufacturing companies can actually uh, give a multiplier effect that was her intention so that's a big thing that has actually happened in this budget and it has it is actually happening since this uh, covid transition that has been there so let me term this it as an under investment by various countries by various economies so one is in transition of energy second commencing of new infrastructure world by the various countries will be the key the amount of liquidity that will be pumped in by the globe all together will be the major reason to drive this demand for example if you see europe has a major capex for energy transition if you see usa its major capex is for the infrastructure side and if you see the countries like india and more like developing countries which are going through this phase they are more into the infrastructure space as what has been the us so us is actually was us actually had an infra infrastructure space space but which was quite old now they are trying to rebuild it and to add more india is actually in a process of adding to it so what happens when small cycles actually come which is a part of the larger cycles they actually last for minimum 3 to 5 years if you go to another number in a calendar year 2020 alone 128 million ton extra steel was in the market and which was all consumed so you can just realize what space government is thinking of into in terms of manufacturing into the in, in terms of consumption which uh, uh, which will be as a key to the society which will be as a key to the government uh, for their revenues and if they are spending so they actually are eyeing not the 0.95 percentage they are actually eyeing the 2.95 versus 1 rupee spent so this is the thing that government is thinking uh, for all people uh, like throughout the throughout the nation now one thing surprising with this commodity demand that has come up is very much uh, uh, like we should uh, take this into note that which every commodity cycle which comes up after such kind of pandemics or uh, such kind of uh, mishappenings whatever in the world that has that has actually happened you see it comes up with a 10% of increase on an average but in this cycle it was actually not 10% or it was much more so three things are actually happening together first there is a price increase proportionately much more as compared to the last cycles second um because of demand increase which is all around the world and which is happening as a cup of spending and third it is a transitional event that is what happening throughout the world in terms of energy transmission so whosoever will have the best capacity will win the race and everybody wants this to be uh, in their favor now what is happening all together uh, with this consumption cycle we have seen a lot of Uh, like uh, incomes have also increased uh, we have seen uh, a little bit of people spending more towards their uh, house and uh, the normal things because the culture of work has changed a little bit going forward it will be what we can't say but yes that's a trend what is as of now so my submission to uh, this budget is it is a, a capital expenditure budget where 7.5 lakh crores is uh, in will, will be like taken care of as an investment as an uh, uh, thing uh, which government wants actually and wants a multiplier effect right so yeah. can you open it for a q and a session yes yes please it is ji are you okay ha ji sir i think okay. the question a very very valid point very uh, valid point right i think i think broadly what all we need to understand is that the global working on a clean energy as well as uh, uh, this infrastructure development here we are talking about some developed countries maybe india is doing 
a lot has to be done people are saying what will happen if clean energy will come ethanol eth- uh, i'm just giving example praj will do what praj is having 70% market share in making machines who produce ethanol so praj is not limited to india there is lot more to be done and again there is no recommendation they are getting they are getting orders from eastern europe they are getting orders from africa so the entire globe is available to you so i think i think uh, a lot and uh, we are entering into a very very interesting time and i totally echo with gurmeet uh, and aditya also mentioned that it's not going to be easy to make money so i'm saying you need to go level 2 you need to drill down on the reports it's good to understand yaar kapda khareedna chahte ho to try karke dekh lete ho you can't buy tips uh, stocks on anybody's tips i'm saying just go and look for the results at least quarterly number to padho and if you don't know how to read a balance sheet my request to you please go for a nifty index fund or a mutual fund rather than just going for uh, direct stocks allocation yourself that's what i want to say here so we have janak with us janak you want to add or a correct correct so uh, as uh, shetish in fact uh, the way all the speakers have very well articulated uh, the stories are going to be intact the retail story the digital story about the whole ev thing that we said okay while we are getting to hear so much j- just a second while we are getting to hear so much about the themes okay uh, it is very easy so internet has its both upsides and the downsides upsides being the classical information dissemination that is there right now everybody knows the next multibagger okay in twitter in youtube every story is exposed to everybody but a downside is how do we validate it and rather than just uh, spending all your entire energies in finding out the next multibagger or maybe uh, next 100x or 10x story okay we should focus on <laughs> Uh, getting uh, developing our skills about finding how to evaluate that multi bagger or how to evaluate even a normal company which is a top fifty uh, nifty fifty company. Okay, uh, as Shetish said, Gurmeet, today is all problem. Hona tha. Yes. What are you saying? Huh? Today is all problem. Hola tha. Yes. Ah, there are there are glitches. All along the country. But okay. All along the country. Abi 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 market me bhi glitches hain. Twitter is falling down. Sahi me sahi me bola hai. I'm trying to send invite to Nirav as well as Meet. Meet Nirav, if you're listening to me, can you please send me a request? Ah, uh, Meet. Meet is saying there is a technical issue. Ah, uh, he's unable to accept. Ah, uh, Meet, can you send me a request? If you can send me a request, I'll be able to add you. Yeah, right. Nirav. Yeah, he's he just messaged me that he's ah uh, there's some technical glitch. Anyways, we can we can carry on. Yeah, Meet, you can you can log out and log in again. Maybe. Uh, yeah, 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 Meet is Meet is a speaker now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mitri, you can sp- you can proceed. Welcome. You have to unmute. Yeah, Mitri, unmute and please go ahead. Uh, am I audible now? Yeah, loud and clear, brother. Loud and clear. Okay, okay. I tried multiple times to accept the request, but it's uh, you know I don't know some technical issues. No, no issue. No issue. Please proceed. Okay, okay. So it's uh, 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 good to see so many good guys here. i don't know the what is the agenda of uh, today's uh, spaces but uh, let's talk something about platform businesses which is the uh, latest uh, hottest topic of the market so i think uh, i'm purely sharing my views and i deserve the right to be, to be wrong here so as you know from 1988 to 1995 us saw optical fiber cable boom and then come the rise of tech and platform companies and if you fast forward 5 to 7 years from 1998 to 2000 many us based startups got acquired by google yahoo etc at crazy valuations and finally the bubble bursted after 10 or 20000 startups not even one person survived and less than 0.1% thrived that the platform segment and then also the platform segment reached new heights so in india also uh, if we uh, go back 6 years we see in 2016 reliance announced jio and then this optic fiber cable boom started and now we are seeing lots of startups happening and ipo coming at crazy valuation so out of thousands of startups i don't know what percentage of startups will survive and then thrive so what are the chances of getting a selected the right startups and then how much allocation could one give to such startups most of the juice got sucked out by pe or vc funds so i'm bit skeptical on the on such uh, loss making startups chances are in 10000 or 20000 startups uh, you get 0.1% to get a moonshot 
okay unless you are very deep into to such a startup research space so it's tough for a retail investor to you know i i guess it's tough for retail investor to directly hunt this space if you see uber or any tech platform in uh, uh, us also they are trading at around price to sales of 5 uh, to 6 and if you take zomato uh, it's trading around uh, something uh, 30 price to sales right so let's keep the price stagnant and increase the growth triggers so even if zomato grows its revenues by 5x in 10 years it would be still in the zone of price to sales of 5 or 6 i'm not uh, talking about profitability uh, pro- profitability at all okay given zomato is very strong in tier 1 and 2 uh, uh, market diopoli market almost so even if they make 1000 crore pat and we put the p of 100 it comes around 1 lakh crore market cap so that's the listing uh, market cap of zomato so and once you see the scale and profitability in such startups it will attract competition then people are not loyal, loyal to any such startups people are only loyal to discounts that's it but uh, zomato is just an example which comes to my mind because it is recently listed so I, uh, so i still believe one should look at uh companies where valuations are reasonable and they generate good uh, free cash flows and where you have good promoter history and uh, profitability and runway looks strong so this is my sense on startup and i deserve the right to be wrong uh, thank you okay thank you mit so kitish ji and punit ji can we start the q and answer question and answer session y- yeah before yes. that i think i think what mit has uh, you know presented is a is a very good case of how we we normally fall into a trap of a new concept which is evolving and normally to make it big we normally get into the you know and again with all due respect to smaller companies so it's always good to align yourself with a new strategy with a big player that's what my one conclusion from beat is saying and secondly the survival of any new concept everybody will say i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this then not everybody is going to survive so we right. need to understand that uh, how we can pick and choose these new startups and again i'm saying the same thing what meet has said which i said 5 minutes back also if the story is so big if it's going to be so good then doesn't matter it allow to settle and evolve a bit and then you can participate so i think i should try uh, to get nirav also nirav uh, i have sent a request to you i have also sent him but uh okay nirav can you log out and log in again we will like to love uh, love to hear from you also if you can do that i'm trying to send you a request it's not going nirav if you can hear us okay uh, i think i'm not able to so uh so we can start the q and a i have three request uh first is from janak lot lotwala i have added him janak you can speak now Janak, you can ask your question. No, no, I uh, didn't have any question. It is just that I am facing some connectivity issues. I am being okay. okay. I'll add uh, systematic quant uh, and uh, systematic quant. Yes, systematic. Ah, uh, systematic quant. If you are there, you can ask your question. You have to unmute your microphone first. Yeah. If any, if uh, yeah. Hi, hi. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, please. My question was uh, basically about markets. What do you think markets are headed for in the next one month or two months or so? Sir, ji, ये तो ये तो ऊपर वाला भी नहीं बता सकता। हाँ, वही बोल वही बोल रहा है याना तो। I can tell you one yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, मुझे ये पता हो कि मंडे को मार्केट किस डायरेक्शन में खुलने वाला है इतना भी पता हो। I was talking about uh, your idea. I was not talking about any uh, bets on Mondays. Actually, no one can predict market. Why? So I, I can. That's that's what Doctor Sir is saying, uh, Systematic Sir. That nobody knows how this will happen, and uh, uh, that's the most difficult part. And one month is too short uh, as a period yeah, yeah, when you evaluate a market. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I mean, we this space and moreover, people who will tell you that market will go which way. Then you should be careful from those yeah. people because nobody knows what will happen. You know, so, do, do, I think two possibilities are: up or down, and down. That's a great answer. Pure flat won't be there. One day, pure flat won't be there. Yeah, yeah, that's a great answer. But Gurmeet, Gurmeet, in your case, it can happen. Brother, you have finished the marathon in two hours. Two point double zero point double zero. I have finished it. So should I should I consider everyone to be confused, right? It's not confused. No one is confused. That is market work. <laughs> so we. 
people here are for long term business that is, that is what i am also i from... never ask for a monday sir so i'm no i'm not on monday i'm talking about if you ask me for a month nobody knows yeah if you asking about businesses how they will do yeah that that business? should that should have been my question rather that is the question yeah. that is the question yeah businesses so that's the sectors which we are discussing companies businesses there's lot of opportunity for india right now so, so one they sector could... that you are more bullish on india any any sector if you can so we we spoke about ev theme we spoke about digital theme i think uh digital doesn't mean only technology company it has to do with all the businesses which are going to get benefit from digitalization okay. it can be cdsl also it okay. can be any praj industries or any other company also all i'm saying is and again these are not recommendations all i'm yeah. saying you need to understand that uh, uh right now it's, there are so many new themes are coming so what yeah. me has spoken he he actually you know in a suddenly he wanted to warn everyone the boss just don't go with the flow just look at it how things will shape up and and things will happen Don't, but we will take time na sir it will take 4 5 years probably yes but you can look at you can look at financialization digitalization uh, of financial assets you can look at many companies any space you pick up the largest mutual fund company is a mid cap company the largest depository company is a mid cap company right. so we have a long way to go by the way reliance industry which is the largest com- company in the country has yeah. has cash uh, has uh, market cap less than cash reserve of apple industries so i'm saying that we uh, as a country we have lot to do and lot to be done uh, and here is a big opportunity for us uh, to do well but yes broadly speaking housing theme could be mentioned uh, beautifully energy theme should do well uh, your infra space should do well uh, your de- your technology theme should do well so these yeah. are the broader things that we see and uh, the big- biggest one which which as a house we feel is that your pharma theme you know mm. what what it has never done the outsourcing this is this is the decade for pharma yeah. i said it will become or do as well as it has done that in ev in ev in ev Shit. there is a confusion right with with respect to xid sorry uh xid batteries is going down and the ev team mein people are after xid batteries but they, that that company is not able to perform uh, people are after tata motors it's a loss making company for the past 3 years No, no, but EV theme. Who said that people are after excited battery? There are a lot of companies will come in EV theme. I mean, to play the three means either you will buy a vehicle company or a two wheeler no, or four wheeler. You buy that. You buy KB. There are a lot of. There are a lot of. Okay, in EV also there are yeah, there are multiple uh, companies, brother. There are multiple. It's not only excited. I understand. Can I take this question? Yeah, please. I understand. Okay, so uh, let's not go into company bus, but uh, but company wise, but I'll. I'll come to the little bit of company wise thing also, but I'll try to explain what actually the thing is. So my question was: EV no. me, yeah, excited industry, ko bhi count karna chahiye ki nahi karna chahiye? Nahi karna chahiye, toh I will leave the question. Sir, देखो आप simple sir बात समझो. Whenever you are taking a stock or you are investing in a business, if you invest in a business or a company that is more integrated, that will give you the best returns. Understood. So you have to be into the business or a company which is more integrated because then you make more margins. on the sales which you are doing so that's the key now i'll come back to the theme what has uh, what we are discussing and i'll give you a very good data which is which which can be handy for everyone yeah now i'm more into commodities so i relate more things to commodities and like living in australia i'm more into investing into commodities all, uh, because of the nation yeah. uh, like they have more into this thing commodities yeah. so i'll just give you a fair example how commodities move commodities actually move in a cycle of 9 years rise and 7 years decline mm. so let's go to the data the first cycle that started was on uh in the in the very very short term period what we are talking about is 1st of march 1985 okay the se- the second that started on wo- i believe we have lost puneet yeah 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 we lost him yeah. we lost puneet anyway yes. uh, so you know broadly uh it's excited is a part of very much as a part of this theme puneet is uh, yeah puneet oh, okay. yeah so yeah. i'll just complete that yeah. cycle uh, uh stage so the first cycle actually started on 1st of march 1985 now commodities move okay. in a uh, like direction of 9 years rise and 7 year decline so we have to understand in what cycle we are actually in the second cycle mm-hmm. started on 1st of july 1992 the third started on 1st of june 2001 the fourth started on 1st of april 2008 and now we are in a cycle which started actually on 1st of 
February 2017. I'm giving this data as per the charts what I see. So now mm-hmm. this is a seven year decline. So if you see metals or commodities, moreover, move in a move in a pack like what we say the wolf move in a pack, right? So all the commodities they actually move in that kind of pack. They are mostly related to the DXY. So what we uh, say technically. So if you see DXY rises, commodities fall. DXY decreases, the metal price, uh, the stock price increases. So as of now, it made. Uh, if you see this January end or February, like uh, first week maximum, it made a small high of ninety seven something, and now it's back again to ninety five something. We might go a little bit up and down. Mm-hmm. but eventually you will see that we are in a process which will be a seven years decline i am not saying anything that will the dxy will yeah kitesh ji can you hear me ha ji sir i can hear you loud and clear okay okay neera bhai is there i think we got neera bhai please yeah, 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 yeah. hi kitesh hi diman sir i am very sorry yeah. i think uh, there was some network issue that is the reason no, why no no was... issue that is all along the country going on please yeah, happy that finally you are here please thank you please. sir तो आई थिंक मेरे को लग रहा है कि थोड़ा टाइम में ट्विटर अभी मेरे ख्याल से चार्ज करने वाला है जिस तरह से हम लोग स्पेसिस कर रहे हैं यार वो जिस तरह से नेटवर्क कम जा रहा है या डिस्कनेक्ट हो रहा है इट लुक्स लाइक कैन आई टेक द क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू एक्स साइड फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड सी बेसिकली वॉट यू आर सिंपली आस्किंग इज वेदर एक्स साइड कैन बी taken as a part of ev theme or not correct na yeah yeah that that was one of the questions that is a very uh, simple question answer to this is also very simple yes it can be because it is into battery segment but therefore we should not jump into excite today because there are excite amara ever ready panasonic and all all are into dry cell batteries and normal batteries and all whether they have launched any batteries relating to ev or whether there is any kind of announcement saying that ke yes they are making any capex or technological changes relating to evs or there are other companies which are coming up to say that ke yes we are manufacturing ev the batteries and then we are clearing the ev batteries if you are only thinking about batteries correct na no? yeah, yeah. I, i was thinking about the entire ev theme batteries you yeah. have explained motors i have a very simple idea that tata motors will stop conventional motors pre- uh, manufacturing and ev will replace the com- uh, replace those uh, space of conventional motors as electric motors uh, that's all tatas could not sell properly yeah. his conventional uh, motors passenger vehicles properly now he is supposed to sell ev vehicles which is again a dream so yeah. are we playing ev theme um, i mean not we not you not i'm not saying anybody but lot of people have bought tata motors only on ev theme okay and nobody is looking at ke it is only going to replace the conventional passengers uh, motors that he is already preparing and he is not able to sell it properly if you can see his his uh, uh, bouquet lot of uh, his vehicles have already failed only one or two has uh, tiago or something has worked properly but the but but it's a net loss so what my idea what what i also wanted to place my thing a uh, question also you can say or probably what i think is this the ev theme is very good it's very lucrative but there is there are many pitfalls and uh, and people should understand that it is going to replace particular so which company we have to invest probably that should be my question uh, we and we should discuss about the company here i think i you understand i understand but still, you, have to, yeah, yeah, I understand. You, have to, you have to study companies you have to compare and no, you have no, to that no, 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 that is what i was trying to say the people are blindly going and buying batteries are blindly going we and are buying motors we are not going to discuss here about companies Dada, I'm saying okay. I'm not even asking for that. I'm just placing my uh, placing my apprehensions. I'm not I'm not claiming anything. I'm okay, just saying okay. people but are blindly you, going and blindly going and buying EV things because Tata uh, some motor uh, forget the name okay, now. Okay, okay, got motor. your point. Thank you for your questioning. So, yeah. uh, Kitesh ji, can you please uh, go for the next uh, speaker? Yeah, so, yeah. Kit- before I, I sir, go. I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Puri Tiwari. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm saying, you can I'm saying before I go to the next speaker, my only request to systematic guy that at least people are buying. I don't know. People have some conviction on Tata Motors. Their Harrier, their Tata Safari, all models have been doing well. 
and they are targeting i think they'll sell they are going to sell 50000 ev vehicles in the country so i allow me to allow me to speak allow me to speak all i'm saying is my friend uh, maybe you have a view and i'm not saying that i am pro tata motors i'm saying that every person has a different view maybe people who we are talking to they have their own view and uh, you know we see that that company as a as a concept after the new guy has taken over you know and after him all the tata group companies are doing well so there is no recommendation but i feel that they might they might sail through this and they might do well but yeah it's anybody's guess if you don't like uh, obviously that's your call you should not buy that but yes that's what i have to conclude here but that have to I, decide that have to be decided by himself na yeah yeah yeah, yeah. obviously that, that's so right. I, have, I, have, I, have, I have thank you very much i have a point here yeah i have a point here. so rather than analyzing the companies that way that this company would be good or this company will perform and this company will give you better returns versus, versus this company let's make a habit of analyzing first what the business is so like uh, you might be thinking that i'm relating it to a commodity again but i'm i'm just giving you a perspective how to look at the businesses so i mentioned that this, there is a commodity cycle going on it it has a big impact on the economy it has to boom because it like we cannot just survive if the commodity cycle is not going up now why people would be thinking that why some sometimes back in the whole year last uh, 2021 the metals were on a boom and suddenly it got a like setback so you have to understand why they got a setback so then you can actually analyze the companies what was happening so i'll, I'll just give you a brief so we all saw that there was a rise in steel price iron ore prices and everything the stocks were rising good everything companies were booming the half of the companies have made their profits uh, and they are now in in a position that after let's say two quarters or maximum three quarters they might become dead for you also now what happened suddenly that those companies like tata steel sail um, jsw suddenly like got a beating i'm i'm not recommending any company but yes i am invested in any of those companies which i i don't want to take the name but yes why they got the beating so we have to analyze what actually happened so there was a surprise and i'm telling you what the reason is and how we should analyze the sector so there was a surprise in a rally of coking coal prices now coking coal prices is actually a gaadi mein petrol dalate hain to wo petrol hai so agar wo petrol zyada mehanga ho jayega to aapke margins impact karenge now just try to analyze how the business works and then you can actually analyze what company will work for you so there was a surprise rally in coking coal prices coking coal prices actually surged from 4 us dollar 445 dollars per ton there was a huge rally and this rally actually started from 110 dollars per ton which was 9 months back in april 21 so just try to analyze ki aapko aaj petrol 100 rupaye liter mil raha hai wo 400 rupaye liter ho gaya hai to aapki company ko kya profit aayenge us certain time ke liye so i'm just trying to uh, like uh, give the example in that terms now it was expected that post peak of 408 or 400 and 10 that was in last this december uh, this will cool off it actually cooled off to 315 dollars also but again we has we are seeing the rally of it is going to 445 dollars so with this recent surge up you can't make margins so that's why your stock is not uh, not performing so if you see if you related to excite or anything also this could be the situation i am not the person who has like analyze excite because i i'm not an investor in that but yes these could be the certain things that you you one should need to analyze what should be there before investing and what are the headwinds that you can face as an investor so in whatever the situation that is what i'm talking about as of now is this situation for particularly for the steel sector the commodity sector is the situation is actually aggravated aggravated because of various things first you can say that there is a disruption um, in the mismatch of uh, the coking coal what is actually coming no doubtly 60% of the market is controlled by china as of now so if you see that coking coal might peak out of february as a restocking comes to an end and china demand reduces however they will they will remain elevated and it will be elevated throughout the year but not as high that is now so definitely it has to cool down and over a period of time you will see your commodity stocks will also start rising now on the contrary you also have to see some kind of technicals that dxy is also 
on a decline mode so you have to analyze the sector which you are invested in in such form rather going into companies particularly just see what what sector is good what the business is and then see what companies are more integrated towards nice explanation nice explanation punit nice so because because then only you can analyze and uh, put your yourself that company right. might you're investing might not give you 100% returns 200% returns but at least you are on the right way so the thing is if you adapt a process so if the process is there you will definitely end up doing something right and let's don't assume that anything that has happened in 2021 giving stocks giving 100 100% 200% return will happen now also we have to be moderate earlier we used to talk about anything above term deposit rates is good for us now we are greedy so greed will actually like spoil the party right 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 absolutely right so uh, we have ankit ankit you can ask uh, a question please unmute uh, and uh, yes can you can you hear me yes yeah, ankit yeah. we can hear you okay. uh, so my question is uh, i am holding sdfc live from last two years but uh, in coming march lic ipo is coming and i'm planning to uh, switch from sdfc live to LIC. no company specific question please Oh, we are not, we are not here to give any advice like that okay. you can so, ask about the sector so okay. so uh, dr sir ankit yes uh, okay. there is no recommendation on lic there is no recommendation on hcs life right absolutely but zyadatar kya hoga aap hcs life bechoge lic loge hcs life bhag jayega aur lic <laughs> ipo se niche aa jayega so normally that's what happen when you buy uh, and keep changing uh, you know it's like you are changing window ticket window at railway station so whichever window you find that it is it is much smaller you change the window and suddenly you see that you know uh, uh, that other window people have started moving fast having said that there is no recommendation on hcsc life it's a amazing franchise business they have amazing premium brand they have worked on their uh, margins their their term insurance business is going up so i think the business wise insurance business only 3% of people are covered on the term insurance side although lsc must have 30 crore policies but they all are on you know regular policies so i'm saying the scope for india to grow on the medical aim as well as medical insurance as well as insurance side is humongous and huge we are we are not uh, undercovered we are uh, we are not only adequately covered we are not even covered i'm telling you one thing the entire nation need to get covered so it throws lot of opportunity for insurance companies now which will succeed in this i i'm not sure but yes it's a good franchise but having said that there is no recommendation Yes, so we can move to uh, uh, Anu. We can move to Gorav. Uh, let me add okay. Gorav. Just wait. I have Gorav Jain. Gorav, uh, I have added you as a speaker. Please ask your question. Gorav, please go ahead and ask your question. Question is a little extension to what was asked earlier. Now it's on the EV theme which you mentioned. So I just want to ask about. how do you see it for the incumbent car manufacturers because if you see probably 10 years down the line most of the cars which will be sold would be ev but the number of cars would be sold would be pretty much similar not too high and in order to take this journey uh, all these companies have to spend billions of dollars in terms of researching about ev technology so we know that volkswagen is committing 85 billion dollars and tata motors has committed some money and they have diluted as, as well so basically what my understanding is that probably they'll sell same number of cars but they'll do a lot of capex uh, and probably dilute it themselves as well uh, in order to change this technology uh, so just any anyone if you have any thoughts on that i'll go ahead and I'll ask uh, me the other speakers to add first of all uh, no technology is going anywhere everything is going to coexist let me let me put it straight that we think that after 10 years everything is going to be ev it can be a combination of ev hydrogen clean energy uh, uh, petrol diesel with zero discharge uh, ethanol it can be anything it is too early to predict that it is going to be ev and uh, by the way as a country the diversity which we have i don't think that ev adoption is going to be that easy uh, in that short run and it's 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 going to be a mix of everything second coming back to your question uh, 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 second what do you ask gorav So my question was yeah yeah number of cars number of cars yeah, so number of cars would and, be and, similar and, and these guys have to spend a lot of money. So why number of cars will be similar, my friend? At three trillion GDP and two thousand dollar average income of country, 
uh, you know we are selling let's say x number of cars sorry i'm just forgetting the number of cars data no, no, what let's, i meant uh, to say was make... probably it will not change a lot because probably it will grow with gdp why why at 3 trillion gdp and 2000 dollar average income mm-hmm. at 4000 dollar average income and uh, 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 5 trillion or 6 trillion gdp or let's say you're talking about 10 years down the line at 10 trillion gdp and maybe 10000 uh, average income things will be very different okay let's say let's say after we 10 years agree. number of cars double but obviously that is not also a very decent amount of growth in terms of cars and obviously you will have kind of tailwinds because if you see in the budget as well there's a lot of money which is put, put getting put into Gaurav, Gaurav, can you Gaurav hear us? Gaurav, give you a number. Yeah, we have lost. We have lost him. Okay, I'll just Gaurav. Can you hear us? Okay, I'll hey, Gaurav. Sir, I'll just give you a number, Shitesh. In the last quarter, uh, September, December, if you see the European car sales, it actually surpassed the electronic vehicles, like the EV car sales, actually surpassed the actual number of diesel cars sold. So. So things are changing, but yes, we will have different like variants. It could be like what you mentioned. It could be ethanol. It could be EV. It could be it could be battery. It could be nobody knows. It could be hydrogen. Like we are talking in commodity space. Like whatever the uh, like seeing this surge in the cooking coal prices, like the plants run on these, might be like after five to seven years, it's 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 a hydrogen thing. So plants are working on that. Puneet, what will be the what will be the yeah? yeah. Puneet, I'm saying what you're saying is right. All I'm saying is. Uh, uh, you know, you never know tomorrow petrol and diesel will come with zero discharge. There might be technology which will yes. come and I don't think Ramco is waiting for, uh, you know, uh, sky, sky to fall and wind up his business and uh, uh, go to mountains to do some uh, uh, tapasya. I don't think Ramco promoters are looking at that. They must be working on something. My Definitely. solution here is, and I'm, I'm, I'm being very candid about it, that these all businesses are going to coexist. I don't know in what shape and what form, and and what Gaurav is saying that maybe tomorrow down the line, what is the future of these companies? All, and I'm not saying that auto companies will have a great future. I'm I'm saying we have not even scratched the tip of the iceberg in terms of penetration of our two wheeler as well as four wheeler. With one forty crore of population, and this is an aspiring population, Gaurav. Sixty crore of people less than forty years. You know, you will see people will like to own uh, their own asset, whether car or or especially uh, bikes, two wheelers. And EV is the next boom, which I see that will do well. But I, that's what I'm saying. It, what you know, just what to it's it, like what I said. It can be in any form. It can be ethanol. It can be hydrogen. So let's see how things will shape up. And I'm, I'm sure if, uh, if we guys are discussing here that how things will move, then obviously those companies which are in this business, they must be doing some serious talk about it. Right. So I'll move to Manoj. Manoj, yeah, you can ask your question. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, so you? actually, I have hello. Uh, uh, one minute. Kitizji, am I audible? Kitizji, can you hear me? Haji, Haji, yes, sir. Yeah, Haji, can you hear me? Uh, I have got time constraints, so uh, only three speakers more. Okay, I'll ask Manoj uh, to ask. Yeah, Manoj. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, am I audible? Yeah, audible. Please yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Actually, I wanted to ask ask you about uh, the fintech businesses. Actually, there is a notion in the market right now that fintech business will take over the current banking business model. So, uh, like HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, these banks, actually, their uh, current business model uh, ceases to exist after 10 to 15 years. And a new business, fintech business will take over those, uh, those banks. So, w- what is your thinking about this? I'll give you an answer before Shitesh speaks and then you and then Shitesh can elaborate. Maybe anyone can elaborate. A question to Nirmala Sita Raman was that this is crypto and crypto, uh, why you have like tax crypto? Are you accepting it as a, as a currency? So she answered in a very diplomatic way and a very simple way also. So her answer was something is happening as a transaction. That's why we have taxed. We haven't said, we haven't accepted it as a currency. So now Shitesh can maybe move forward. So these companies will come, let them grow, let them become a little bit uh, more big so that we can acknowledge them. So itni jaldi, uh, you can't say that they will uh, take the race of HDFC or SBI or anything. They will be headwinds to their business also. Once a concrete structure is there, government can see the regulation, then things will change. 
Shitaj can take forward or anyone else can. Yeah, I have three. I have Dr. Sir. I have three eminent speakers. Dr. Tanmay, uh, Balaji, and Vikas are there. Any one of you would like to uh, go ahead and cover this? Welcome. Welcome to the space. Please proceed. Yeah, thank you, Shitaj. Yeah, yeah. uh, Dr. Thank Sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hi. I missed the question, Shitaj. Sorry. Manoj, can you ask a question again? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, uh, Tanmay sir, actually wanted to ask you about the fintech business. The, actually, there is a notion in the market right now that fintech business will take over current banking business model. Like uh, current, there are many Paytm, Dhani, or many uh, financial uh, technical businesses are uh, in the market now, and uh, they are covering very fast. So, uh, so many people are saying that HDFC Bank, the the current business model of current ma major banks, private banks, or the uh, public banks, you can say, uh, they are, they won't exist after ten to fifteen years, fifteen twenty years. They are saying that fintech business will take over them. So this is how uh, the current notion is there. So what 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 is your thinking about this? Can I can I take this one, please? So uh, while while yeah, definitely fintechs are doing well, and uh, one good positive thing about fintechs is it's definitely keeping a lot of these private banks and definitely the national banks, nationalized banks on their heels. So the challenge to change rapidly is definitely there, but obviously they won't take over banks the way it is expected and stuff. But if you ask me, in the private banking space currently, uh, ICICI Bank is actually racing up fast, as fast as any other fintech could be in terms of development or the way they are taking up the tech in the digital age in a very big way. So I don't think it we can take over at any point of time, but definitely the pace of change, like you know, just to give you a corroborative example. What IPL is doing to cricket in a big way, that's how fintechs will actually do to the banking industry of adapting to change in a big way. That's my two bits on it. Right. Yogesh, do you want to say something? No, I will just layer on to that. Uh, many of the fintechs, if you look around, my fear is that many of them are unregulated. Whether it is P2P lending, digital lending... RBI just this week issued a cautionary advisory to investors and uh, customers dealing with even unauthorized forex tradings. So be careful whether as an investor or as a customer dealing with them. Uh, I mean, this is perhaps the fifth or sixth time I am repeating on one of the spaces that there is a working report on digital lending by RBI. Out of 1100 apps, 600 are fake. So good luck to all those who are invested or our customer uh, because there are money laundering issues, KYC issues and stuff like that. Any investment, what, no matter what exotic or fancy language you say in BFSI space, if it is not regulated by any regulator, God help you. Thank you so much. And we saw what happened in budget for crypto, right? I don't have to repeat that. Thank you so much. Yeah, Dr. Tanmay, you can proceed. Yeah, I, I just totally agree with what Bala said and what uh, Yogesh added. So I would just say that uh, if, you know, even in this sector, if you want to climb in, you can just wait and, you know, if, if it's suppose a 100x journey, then let the balance sheet get stronger for this uh, new entrance, which is there. I, I I am a very old old school investor, you know. I would rather love to see uh, at least top line. Top line to ho, aap top line mein hai. There is some other growth model, some other story which is there i told okay i understand that these things can uh, make a great change but then i just don't buy story i i need to have some revenue some bottom line as well so uh if you want to say uh, like take my two bits it would be like let's keep a watch on this this you know the banks won't sit quiet the other banks that are there the market leaders that are there you, we saw sbi adapting so well SBI, uh, we can see it has uh, jo Yono app hai and baki hai. they have also been changing. The other other uh, like private sector banks are also changing. They are coming up with the innovations. So it's not that the only fintechs would be uh, doing things in this space. So let's keep a watch. And if the companies become profitable, if we see, okay, we may miss the 2x or a 4x growth, but we, we may still have a, a 20x or a 40x growth ahead of us. So that's from my side. Okay, thank you, doctor. Yeah, so ba Balaji, we... Balaji, you can go ahead and then Vikas uh, can go ahead after that. Uh, one more thing I wanted to add is like, you know, I come from the edtech space. So I see a lot of opportunities for banks to actually like, you know, exponentially lend in this space. 
uh, especially in the digital online space and all. But that's one area where fintechs have taken over so brilliantly well in such a rapid space. completely unsecured lending and the kind of rates they are doing is humongous in terms of it talks about an average IRR anywhere between 18 to 24 percent and then the mill round go so that's one area definitely like you know banks are lacking behind but maybe in terms of book and asset quality they're not there but these are the areas slowly slowly ICI is the first one who will be getting into this space also because like you know education and edtech as a sector is doing pretty well so yeah definitely fintechs will uh, push the new age banks definitely go go much faster and i can see the transition happening fast but from a long term perspective whether uh, it will actually challenge books i mean the banks in a very big way i have serious doubts so i would stay away from it okay because because can... Sir, can you hear me yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. see what i want to say is that banks are so big to fail i mean फिनटेक वाले कोई ऐसा प्रोडक्ट नहीं क्रिएट कर रहे कि विच इज पेटेंटेड एंड बैंक्स कैन नॉट डू इट सो दे आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड बैंक बैंक कैन रेप्लीकेट दैट प्लेटफॉर्म ओवर नाइट आल्सो आई मीन दे हैव सो मच ऑफ मसल पार सो फिनटेक्स ऑब्वियसली द स्केल और द पेस इज वेरी हाई एंड बट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड यू नो दीज बैंक्स दी बैंक्स आर एग्जिस्टिंग फॉर डॉकी इयर्स आई मीन दे आर हेयर फॉर हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑल्सो आई मीन इवन फॉरन बैंक लाइक स्टैंड और सिटी बैंक इन इंडिया आर लाइक मोर देन हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस सो फिनटेक वाला मैं तो ये बोल रहा हूँ कि बैंक्स विल बी बेनिफिटेड दैट यू नो फिनटेक आर आर स्पेंडिंग द मनी ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स एंड क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोडक्ट एंड बैंक विल एंड कैश दोज बेनिफिट दैट यू नो अच्छा ऐसा होता है ये ट्रेंड है तो बैंक में बैंक हैज द मसल पावर टू चेंज ऑल दीज थिंग्स ओवर नाइट सो आई थिंक आई डोंट थिंक आई मीन फिनटेक हैज दैट काइंड ऑफ चैलेंज टू बैंक बिकॉज स्पेशली द प्रोडक्ट रेगुलेशन इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट दे कैन नॉट दे कैन नॉट डिविएट द प्रोडक्ट दे हैव टू रिमेन इन द इन द Uh, vicinity of the regulation which uh, R- RBI or or SEBI or you know all these regulatory bodies have given. So fintech usi domain mein rahega khali platform mein innovation laate hain which banks can replicate uh, within no time. That's my take. Right, right sir. So just to you know Vikas, you uh, Balaji, Puneet, Doctor Sir, you all added a couple of things. What Vikas said, a good example. You know Clubhouse started. How much time it took Twitter to launch their space and where space is where Clubhouse is. so with bank reserve is fintech muscle power second important thing when it come to fintech it's not zomato you know it's not uh, swiggy or it's not any common platform first of all with upi the payment transfer part with fintech was in cashing on is all done you are doing free of transfer use any platform whatsapp facebook uh, bharat pay ye pay wo pay paytm free of course second the most important point here is that when you talk about fintech on the second side which is on the investment side also boss uh, what happened in 2017 many of these players i will not name them they were showing fund to invest with the performance in place and all fund to invest were small cap and mid cap funds because one year return for small cap index in 2017 was 57% one year return for a mid cap index i'm talking about index funds were doing better 48% all new investors they mentioned into as per performance ek saal mein 50% ka to mil hi jayega so there is no human intervention when you go to fintech so investment part gone insurance part there is aggregator call policy bazaar but in policy bazaar also many people when they are looking at policy bazaar they look at the code many people they will like to go directly to all these uh, uh, policies uh, uh, platforms whether hdfc icic bajaj so i'm saying i'm saying things are not that easy for them also valuation part is a different part but otherwise if you see it's not uh, going to be uh, a cake walk for them also so banks are not going anywhere boss they are here to, uh, but i don't know what is the future and nothing can stop bank to get into fintech also so before i move on uh, to the next part i will like balaji and vikas to add what we are talking here is budget uh, gurmeet has also on back budget and the impact of budget on equity markets so this is becoming interesting so uh, vikas you want to start uh, that's what we were discussing budget and impact of budget on equity markets <laughs> so yeah uh, so kshitij i mean uh, uh, yesterday also or i was talking that you know this budget is more of a boiled vegetable which is good for health but may not taste well so budget ka overall jo structural change jo hone wala hai india mein i think uh, it is it is very good for the country uh, and uh, let's not look at uh, budget from only tax nahi ghataya ya ye nahi kiya wo nahi kiya because agar aap 25% bhi tax leke aa jate ho individuals ka to then they will start crying ke hamara aur kam kar do तो वो चीज कभी खत्म होने वाली नहीं है सो आई थिंक वट गवर्नमेंट इज पुशिंग ऑफ मोर ऑफ इंफ्रा प्ले एंड क्रिएटिंग 
infrastructure so that economic activity picks up and then it gets benefited to each and every individual so uh, from that aspect i would say i mean it's a directionally it, it is very good so i don't uh, find that you know there is something major negative on this budget so uh, so i thank i thank vikas for uh, seconding my point of investing into commodities thank you <laughs> that's why i have there into commodities because it, it can't happen without investing into commodities yeah puneet and commodities have corrected uh, i mean recently so i think it's a good opportunity otherwise also it's it's good because the fuel what is cooking coal is almost high for them and uh, in this quarter maybe the march end it will be uh, if you if you uh, say uh, 0.9 percentile so for the last one year average so e- even if it corrects so it's not going to correct to the lower levels but yes it will be somewhere between 210 to 250 which will be very good for these companies to uh, like uh, for the coming time so definitely this uh, infra budget directly or indirectly whatever anyone wants to say will definitely is is going to boost the sector for sure thank you uh balaji all over to you can we <laughs> yeah yeah so in terms of budget and i don't even track it as a specific event in terms of changes in equity markets and stuff like that big believer in gurmeet's view of the fighter land story 2025 jo bhi hai karke yaar india has a big story and all these events become non events in the longer picture i strongly believe with the kind of tax buoyancy which is happening and the more on more compliances which is happening to get in more people uh, i expect with the kind of growth that will happen in the next two years last years of this government is going to be a big bang uh, i would say like you know uh, more of a people's budget jump a tax break khilenge because of more people coming into the net before the next election that's my perception i could be wrong but i believe that with all strict norms coming into place tax compliances coming into place and more people coming into the net last year is going to be a complete people's budget and uh, story is going to get even much better with the kind of penetration in equity markets on the retail space which you're seeing right now more entrants coming in we are we are here to stay so nothing more to add i just don't look at budget as event at all thank you so pritish can we proceed uh, kitish ji with pritish is the speaker now Yeah, we can. Uh, Pratish, yeah. you can ask your question. Yeah, yeah you can ask I, your question. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Zeman, for giving me this opportunity. So my question is to uh, Gurmit Bai. Uh, especially, this is for uh, CDMO API sector. Yeah. Uh, so I can understand the things are a little bit difficult uh, uh, last quarter. So in CDMO also, like uh, you know, many companies like Newland, uh, Sinjin, Loras. So. Uh, i mean some of have performed some of have not uh, yet so how do we as a retail how do we you know make a portfolio and sustain through the you know going ahead also and one more question is more related to uh, real estate se- uh, sector uh, in specific to india bulls if someone can guide because uh, things are much clear now no company but... specific question please okay okay understood uh, yeah yeah so mainly cdmo api sector Sure, sure. I think I first I'll first clarify what what CDM and API is. I think this yeah. people use the word interchangeably. So, क्या होता है partner? I'll tell you why it went up first, so you'll understand. Yeah. So let's let's say for example, you would have what I'm giving this only as an example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Loris Labs went up last year. Was one of the darling for everyone, right? अभी Loris Lab क्या करता है? ARV API बनाता है. ARV API is basically for HIV uh, disease. Okay. now uh, because of supply chain disruption jo bhi pharma company see they started stocking up uh, uh, you know the apis for arv yeah to kyunki unhone stock up kiya to number you know the volume went up and it boosted earnings right now the same companies which had stocked up you know apis early today i don't want to order more arv apis right yeah to wo cheez ab uske negative play out kar rahi hai to so loris lab kya kar raha hai to cdmo kya hai uh, so ek aap api bana rahe ho jisme jisme arv hai non arv hai so now loris lab is trying to basically get into oncology diabetes to make you know uh, reduce the risk of tomorrow if what there is a 100% treatment of hiv or hiv disappears right so there is a terminal risk to the business to wo usme diversify kar raha hai CDMO एक अलग सेगमेंट है जो अभी भी उसका तीस टका ग्रो कर रहा है सो विच इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट डेवलपमेंट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सर्विसेज राइट सो दैट सेगमेंट इज ग्रोइंग फॉर लॉरेंस आल्सो इज ग्रोइंग फॉर न्यूलैंड आल्सो इट इज ग्रोइंग डीबीस के लिए ऑब्वियसली वो बहुत बड़ा है बट उसका भी प्रपोर्शन जो है वो छोटा है इन द ओवरऑल पाए 
so as things uh, pick up the proportion because it's a very high growth business high margin business it will so say divis ka agar aap dekhoge custom synthesis or generic mix jo hai wo 56 44 hai तो हर कंपनी का अलग अलग है इसको थोड़ा लेवल टू लेवल थ्री में स्टडी करने का जरूरत है और हम जनरलाइज नहीं कर सकते इसको डिवीज का एग्जांपल लेते हैं डिवीज इज अ हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एपीआई एंड कॉन्सेंट यू नो कस्टम सिंथेसिस मैन्युफैक्चर तो सिर्फ तीस मॉलिक्यूल बनाता है डिवीज थर्टी एपीआई पोर्टफोलियो है और अब वो एक्सपैंड कर रहा है तो पिछले पच्चीस तीस साल में तीन हजार करोड़ का केपेक्स किया था अगले तीन साल में पांच करोड़ का केपेक्स कर रहा है तो इट्स एक्सपेंडिंग दैट ये बिजनेस ना नॉर्मल कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स की तरह नहीं है कि आपको क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर रेवेन्यू मिलेगा लंपी बिजनेस होता है एक दो क्वार्टर में बहुत अच्छा नंबर आएगा दो तीन क्वार्टर खराब भी आ सकते हैं इफ द कमर्शियलाइजेशन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल गेट्स डिलेड अभी सीडीएमओ में दो सीडीएमओ होते हैं एक फार्मा का कॉन्ट्रैक्ट डिजाइनिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग है एक एग्री या सॉरी एक चीज मैं बोलना चाह रहा हूं इधर कि ये जो ईआरपी एपीएल जो है ना जी जो ड्रग हम लोग लिखते हैं पहले अभी वो बंद कर दिया दूसरा ड्रग चल रहा है इसके कारण भी लॉरास को प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है इनको बना के रखा है ना वो बना के रखा है वो चीज तो नहीं चल रहा है अभी प्लीज प्रोसीड करेक्ट सो आई एम सेइंग फिर इसमें क्या होता है एक एग्री सीडीएम होता है जिसमें पीआई इंडस्ट्रीज मार्केट लीडर है राइट और वो फार्मा की तरफ जा रहा है तो इसको आप इसको आप जनरलाइज मत करिए आर सेंस इज दैट टुडे चाइना मेक्स इट सप्लाईज मोर देन 80% ऑफ द एपीआई हमें बोल रहे हैं ब्रॉडली विद इंडिया बिकमिंग द फार्मेसी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड All our companies having great chemistry skills. Divis, for example, has great skill in the late life cycle strategies. Superb chemistry skills, right? Tolu okay. Tolu Pavir ka uh, API bana raha hai jo COVID ka drug hai. Ma Pfizer, you name multinationals, top ten me se six or seven uske clients hoge, right? It is right. it's like so. Aap isko ye mat. Divis na agar band ho gaya to ye pharma industry band ho jayega. नहीं नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है डिस्टर्ब होता है थोड़ी देर के लिए बंद इंडिया बंद वर्ल्ड में कुछ नहीं होता है नो बडी इज इंडिस्पेंसिबल आई एम सेइंग कि अपॉर्चुनिटी अभी क्या है हमारी इंडियन कंपनीज बहुत छोटी है 300 400 मिलियन डॉलर करती हैं सीडीएमओ स्पेस में बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज वर्ल्ड की 5 6 8 मिलियन डॉलर्स करती हैं तो रनवे बहुत बड़ा है और सप्लाई चेन से और दूसरा क्या होता है केमिकल में ना टर्न अराउंड टाइम जल्दी आ जाता है आपको अप्रूवल जल्दी मिल जाते हैं फार्मा में चार चार पाँच पाँच साल लगते हैं ट्रायल्स होते हैं अलग अलग कंपनीज के एफडीएस करते हैं तो वहाँ पे एक बार जब आ जाता है तो फिर एंट्री बैरियर बहुत बड़ा बन जाता है तो जब एक बार आएगा तो आपको रेवेन्यू भी वो है बहुत लंपी ग्रो करेगा वंस अप्रूवल्स फॉर यू नो एज न्यू मॉलिक्यूल जैसे आपने पी आई इंडस्ट्रीज अगर कौन कौन सुना उन्होंने बोला हमने इस क्वार्टर चार मॉलिक्यूल्स कमर्शलाइज करें उन्होंने अपने कमर्शलाइजेशन का भी पाइपलाइन दिया तो ये ना थोड़ा आर एंड डी वाला बिजनेस है ये थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिजनेस है तो इसका बेस्ट तरीका खेलने का है मेरा मानना है कि आप इंडिविजुअल स्टॉक्स मत लीजिए ज्यादा क्योंकि हमारा हमारा लेवल नहीं है उतना अंडरस्टैंडिंग का आप एक फार्मा पोर्टफोलियो एक ऐसा पोर्टफोलियो लीजिए जैसे जिसमें इसका कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ज्यादा हो राइट दैट्स अ बेटर वे टू प्ले इट और इंडिविजुअली आपको एक दो लेना तो बड़े ब्लू चिप लीजिए जिसका जिसका ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड है और थोड़ा स्टैगर्ड वे में लीजिए इसमें इसमें लेके ये सोचना कि हर क्वार्टर रिटर्न बनेगा बहुत ट्रिकी हो सकता है ये बड़े बड़े स्टॉक फरवरी मार्च में आप ले सकते हैं हां हां बोल रहा है कि फरवरी मार्च में ले सकते हैं फार्मा अगर चाहे तो ऐसा कोई म्यूचुअल फंड तो नहीं मैं मैं ये नहीं बोल रहा हूं अभी के लिए बोल रहा हूं मतलब मैं मैं डिवीज 2015 से खरीद रहा हूं आपको नहीं बोल रहा सर हां मेरे को फरवरी मार्च में बोल रहा है ना वही बात बोल रहे हैं डिवीज के बारे में नहीं बोल रहा है मैं कह रहा हूं फरवरी मार्च जनवरी फरवरी सितंबर मैं डिवीज को 2015 से खरीद रहा हूं थोड़ा थोड़ा स्टॉक करके मेरा वो तो पता है सर वो नहीं आपको नहीं बोल ऑप्शन होती है गुड फार्मा फंड गुरमीत ने बहुत सही बोल दिया हमारा बैंडमिट थी नहीं है वहाँ पे की आप फार्मा को एनालाइज करने लग जाओ कल आप किस कुछ और स्टोरी सोच के बैठे हो पता चले वहाँ पे वहाँ पे कोई ना कोई इंस्पेक्शन आ गया यूएस का एफडीए का और वहाँ उसके दो तीन क्वार्टर और घुस गए और ऐसा ही होता है अभी रिसेंटली जो स्पाइक हुए एपीआई के प्राइस चाइना में जिस कारण से सारी फार्मा कंपनीज की अपनी प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी नीचे हुई तो तीसरा टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मार्च ऑनवर्ड्स सबने अपना जितने भी सेल हुई है सबकी जिन्होंने होर्डिंग करी है उस कारण से नंबर्स बहुत एलिवेटेड हैं अब अब वो नंबर थोड़े नॉर्मलाइज हो रहे हैं बिकॉज नॉट एवरीबडी इज लुकिंग फॉर मेडिसिन नाउ वॉट हाउ इट यूज टू बी अर्लियर सो इट it all impacts a lot so i think a healthcare fund which is a good mix of a api or let's say cram sath mein healthcare insurance hospitals a diagnostic a good combination of everything is the right approach to to deploy into a pharma sector fund and that to not more than 5 to 10% in a portfolio kyunki on an average normal mutual fund mein bhi aapka 6 7% pharma mil jata hai aapko 
absolutely kitesh right. and one more thing just, i want to add just here. to add on sir just to add on sir in december ye jo last quarter tha usme jitna bhi raw material china se aata tha it had a spike of 80 to 90% so you can just understand what kind of uh, margin hit these companies have taken in this quarter that's why this this could be one of the reason the prices have taken a hit so this lumpiness what gurmeet said is is a part and parcel of these pharma businesses yeah so we have to understand that we are not into chemicals and uh, thing what what china is ex- exactly as of now so we are developing so abhi tak we are not we are still you can say very much dependent upon china about these chemicals the the mat- raw material that is coming in yeah now, so, so regarding so this uh, cost is normalized in this quarter or still it is uh, the following the same way like it, this quarter it was for one or two more quarters i think thoda sa normalize hua hai pichhe dusra nahi freight do quarter ka intezar kijiye abhi thoda normalize hua hai thoda i think aur aur hoga hai supply chain aur ek aur ek cheez main jo gurmeet ji aur kitesh ji jo bol rahe the uske sath bolna chahta hu ki hospital is a very good space i feel to see because i can share my personal experience once as part of government of west bengal faculty i went to apple hospital kolkata and i was astonished to see that most of the patients more than 50% of patients are coming from bangladesh nepal bhutan sikkim and all those uh, not sikkim sorry uh, and all uh, middle east countries so during these two years their profit has been very low all these hospitals not only apple i uh, there is a hospital bangalore based hospital uh, bangalore based hospital that is a uh, specialized in cancer cancer so they have done a huge capex and they have stopped so these are the spaces i think probably kitesh ji and gurmeet ji will admit the same thing sir in hospital stock i'll just like to say whenever it is actually a uh, bed uh, realization per bed realization so the stocks those are actually uh, done their capex so not not saying that i'm invested or no, not any recommendation but yes as of now uh, Uh, healthcare global and uh, definitely narayan hyderabad and uh, apollo what you are saying most of the hospitals those are on the cups there that they have done their uh, like most of the capex and if the bed utilization thing is uh, coming more because of the covid thing it actually has hampered so uh, when this uh, things normalize and again the hospitalization uh, i should not say this word again and again but yes Uh, again uh, the things get normal for the hospitals yes they will uh, get into good uh, revenue model right right so, ek 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 chhota sa just point i wanted to add for hospital i agree it's a great business uh, ek aapko bas careful rehna hai kitna asset light model hai right lot of hospital is a Haan, very very jaro, capital jaro. capital intensive business dusra kya hota hai hospital ka owner to hamesha paise banata hai शेयर होल्डर जरूरी नहीं है पैसा लाना है <laughs> तो, तो हर बिजनेस में है सर या बहुत सारे <laughs> बहुत सारे हॉस्पिटल कैश बिलिंग भी कर लेते हैं यू you नो know, बहुत चीजें एडजस्टमेंट हो जाती है हॉस्पिटल में आई एम जस्ट सेइंग कुछ एक न्यू एज अभी जो लिस्ट हुए हैं कुछ अच्छी कंपनीज हैं स्पेस में बट हॉस्पिटल बिजनेस में थोड़ा सा यू हैव टू बी अ लिटिल केयरफुल यू नो कि कैश ट्रांजैक्शंस भी बहुत बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं आई डोंट वांट टू डू इट फर्दर बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ रिकॉर्डेड स्पेस बट बट डायग्नोस्टिक्स जो उसका अगर आप एक्सटेंशन लो ना डायग्नोस्टिक इज अ फार बिगर अपॉर्चुनिटी इंडिया में क्या है लोग अपने आप को खुद ही डोलो दे देते हैं आधा हम टेस्ट कराते ही नहीं है और दूसरा क्या है हर मार्केट में लोकल लैब्स बहुत स्ट्रांग हैं तो धीरे तो अनऑर्गेनाइज्ड टू जो ऑर्गेनाइज की अपॉर्चुनिटी है दैट्स अ ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी इन इन तो इफ यू आस्क मी बिटवीन द टू आई प्रेफर तो अगेन एसेट लाइट ज्यादा है कॉस्ट ऑफ सेटिंग अ डायग्नोस्टिक सेंटर इज फार 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 लेसर देन uh you know having uh, as as punit was also pointing out so th- within that space if you look, look at hospitals and diagnostics diagnostics because of the opportunity of the unorganized sector being so large uh, is it, to my to me is a is a far bigger opportunity over long yeah thank you so anup singh is the last speaker today we will taking the last question for tonight anup you can proceed yeah anup you can ask your question hi sir good evening good evening, good evening. uh sir uh, actually mera question tha ki uh, jaise government hamare yahan infrastructure pe kafi baat kar rahi hai so uh, like aap logo ka kya view hai infrastructure pe aane wale time pe 
और जो इनसे रिलेटेड जो भी कंपनीज हैं लाइक अडेसिव हो गए या पेंट हो गए या पाइप्स हो गए मतलब ओवरऑल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के बारे में मैं थोड़ा सा आप लोगों से आपका व्यू जानना चाहता था सर एंड थैंक्स फॉर होस्टिंग दिस लाइक ये बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन सर इनसे मिल रही है और वी लर्न फ्रॉम लाइक आप लोगों से ही सीख के हम लोग uh, आगे बढ़ रहे हैं सर थैंक यू फॉर दैट so i will request uh, gurmeet vikas puneet in this order we can go gurmeet you go ahead and then vikas can talk and then puneet can talk so i'll just make quick point see uh, infrastructure bahut bada term hai uh, i think what you should see is around you uh, where you are seeing uh, rapid consumption happening i think uh, cement i think would be one beneficiary both because of housing revival and because of the uh, the government has already laid out a plan of expanding national highways by 25000 km it's a huge number ji, ji. i mean they are on a run rate of 35 35 40 km a day which i think i think gadkari on a stand alone basis has done an outstanding job irrespective of kisi ka bhi kya political ideology hai i think i think that space has done very well uh, epc business thoda aap careful rahiye because you know a lot of these road manufacturers also the epc players have lot of governance issues तो वहां पे थोड़ा क्या है कि अगेन एज आई सेट ओनर पैसा बनाएगा शेयर होल्डर पता नहीं कितना पैसा बनाएगा सो सो आई थिंक ईपीसी प्लेयर्स में यू नो आई थिंक द लार्जर वन शुड डू वेल वेदर इट इज एल एन टी वेदर इट इज ए बी बी वेदर इट इज सीमेंस एक्सेट्रा हाउसिंग जैसा आपने खुद बोला आई थिंक मेरे हिसाब से हाउसिंग is one sector which impacts 48 other, other sectors so uptake in housing has a huge multiplier impact uh, you know across the economy so uh, ke, you know mujhe lagta hai ki jo home improvement theme hai ye bahut badi theme hai over the next uh, because of the different work culture which is Jee. emerging Jee. तीसरा इवन टेक्नोलॉजी इज कम अंडर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो हम डेटा डेटा सेंटर्स बना रहे हैं जो हम वर्क कर रहे हैं इन बिल्डिंग यू नो फाइव जी नेटवर्क गवर्नमेंट यू नो कंपनीज इन्वेस्टिंग इन टू हार्डवेयर एंड टेलीकॉम इक्विपमेंट आई थिंक वो पार्ट बहुत लोग इग्नोर कर रहे हैं चार्जिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो इज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन माई व्यू सेटिंग अप एन इट सेटिंग सेटिंग अप एन इथेनॉल प्लांट आज गडकरी ने फिर इंटरव्यू दिया है बोला है कि वी नीड टू इंक्रीज द मिक्सिंग ऑफ इथेनॉल विद पेट्रोल टू रिड्यूस पोल्यूशन एंड प्राइस तो जो इथेनॉल प्लांट बना रहा है वो वो भी इंफ्रा कर रहा है सो आई थिंक जहाँ भी कैपेसिटी क्रिएट हो रहा है इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग द वर्ड इंफ्रा जहाँ भी कैपेसिटी क्रिएट हो रहा है चाहे वो सेमी कंडक्टर में हो रहा है चाहे वो टेक्सटाइल में हो रहा है चाहे वो एपीआई में हो रहा है चाहे वो डेटा सेंटर में हो रहा है मेरे हिसाब से उस पर फोकस करिए ब्रॉड रिकवरी इन कैपेसिटी क्रिएशन लेड बाय कॉपरेट टैक्स कार्ड लेड बाय पी एल आई इट्स अ मोर सेक्युलर थीम देन टू ओनली आइसोलेशन में इंफ्रा देखने से अच्छा ठीक है सर ठीक है what i want to highlight is that when we talk about infrastructure uh, development na to usme hum generally wo ek perception hota hai hard assets ki taraf dhyan jata hai but if we see government's push on the digital side is too much so jaise abhi unhone uh, drone uh, technology pe bola ki iti mein drone technology ke hisab se they will impart the training so these kind of uh, you know digital push and the data integration or the integration of services and the solutions jisme bhi it it enabled cheeze aati hain those companies are also going to get benefited एंड uh, उसमें जैसे गुरमीत ने बोली थी ऑलरेडी कवर किया है दैट यू नो टेक्नोलॉजी कंपनीज विल गेट अ बिग बूस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल आज की डेट में कोविड में जब लॉकडाउन uh, हुआ उसके बाद में आई थिंक ओ टी जनरेशन वाली जो कंपनीज हैं उनके अगर आप स्टॉक प्राइजेस देखेंगे तो दे हैव हिट द रूफ बिकॉज द यूसेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड इट इज इंक्रीजिंग इन द हार्ड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप ऑटोमोबाइल uh, सेक्टर की बात कर रहे हैं तो दे आर हायरिंग मोर Uh, IT engineers than electrical engineers or the automobile engineers because the technology the push of use of technology in every sector is uh, increasing so i think that is a space where uh, one should look at uh, with good uh, positive outlook thank you so, uh, actually sir sir awaaz aa rahi hai ya ya anu bataiye ji ji एक्चुअली सर मैं matlab main pichle 5 6 saal se abhi maine investment journey start kiya hai and I'm invested in uh, paints like uh, and along with that adhesive जैसे मैंने बात की piping तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है जैसे सर ने बोला गुरमीत सर ने बोला कि भाई अभी हम चौरासी uh, लाख चौरासी uh, लाख लोगों को घर मिलने वाले हैं तो ये सारी चीजें क्योंकि सर मैं बहुत ज्यादा टेक्निकली नहीं समझता हूँ क्योंकि मुझे मैंने बस जो चीजें समझी वो फंडामेंटली ही समझी है मुझे लगता है कि इनका कंजम्पन हो रहा है 
और आगे होता रहेगा सो मेरा क्वेश्चन उसी पे स्पेसिफिक था आप बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हो देयर आर 50 सेक्टर्स व्हिच विल गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम हाउसिंग थीम इंफ्रा को तो अभी साइड पे करते हैं पहले जी जी राइट इट इंक्लूड्स पाइप्स इट इंक्लूड्स सीमेंट इंक्लूड्स पेंट टाइल्स वायर्स यू नो आप जस्ट नेम इट एसी मैन्युफैक्चरर रेफ्रिजरेटर मैन्युफैक्चरर योर आयरन रॉड्स मतलब आप जस्ट नेम इट टॉयलेट जी जी व्हेन क्योंकि इट विल कम ना जी yeah, क्योंकि सर क्योंकि सर अपनी अगर आप देखें भारत की जनसंख्या बहुत ज्यादा है और हमारे यहाँ आगे आने वाले समय में कंजम्पन स्टोरी ही चलने वाली है मुझे ऐसा लगता है जो मेरी मेरा परसेप्शन है तो अच्छी अच्छा जहाँ पे कंजम्पन हो सकता है वो इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हो या बेसिकली कहीं भी हो तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि वो सेक्टर ग्रो कर सकते हैं ये मेरा अंडरस्टैंडिंग है सर अगर मैं गलत हूँ तो काइंडली मुझे करेक्ट करिएगा सर नहीं आप गलत नहीं अनु बिल्कुल गलत नहीं हो मैं आपको इस जो क्षितिश भी पॉइंट बोल रहा है मैं आपको एक डेटा बोलता हूँ आप उससे समझो कि हम कहीं भी गलत नहीं है जो आप डिस्कस कर रहे हो जी जी ये एक छोटा सा नंबर है सर हर तरीके की बोलिए हेलो Uh, we are lost him probably you can proceed okay i'm just giving the number like uh, he would like to be like uh, learn this number har sector mein growth agar infra mein hai to sare sector jaisa shitesh bola gur gurmeet bola vikas bole growth aani hi aani hai now the point is ki aap ye dekho har sector mein kis tarike ki growth aa rahi hai growth is so wide that you can just imagine by the number that i am giving you is just in steel sector it is 15 to 20 million per ton that was that is jo abhi tak growth jo abhi tak consumption ho raha tha so the demand from these segment for steel is approx 15 to 20 million ton which is actually expected to grow to 90 to 100 million per ton just because of this transition phase so ye jo number hai those are so big numbers that you can't even imagine what kind of things will happen in the world and this whenever such kind of pandemics happen this actually shoot up the this uh, cycle of infrastructure and consumption what i mentioned some time back in usa it is a time for infrastructure in whole of the europe it is going a transition phase for the energy renewables in india and countries like us again it's a infrastructure call so there will be a, such a big big massive investment and these massive massive investments actually when they start they start in actually a pack of 3 to 5 years so if you just see the data in the calendar year 2020 alone 128 million ton of extra steel in the market was there and it was all consumed all consumed so you just can imagine what kind of cycle we are going in and what kind of uh, requirement is there in the market gurmeet very well mentioned that it is like housing market boom ho raha hai to wahan pe bhi you would require housing things ghar khali housing ke usse nahi banega it will require paint also it will require uh, like uh, cement also it will require steel also it will require aluminum also so it's it's a huge demand if you see the numbers it's big Yeah. See, a, a, a small point I want to make here that you know typically we look at China के देखो China का scale इतना बड़ा है अपना हमारा ये है but China is more of a <coughs> investment oriented economy and India is a consumption oriented economy so हमारी किसी भी sector में जब production होती है ना तो it is demand based demand led so we never go overboard and in India we are under consumed in many sectors like insurance actually said automobile or और वाइट गुड्स तो हमारा स्कोप uh, इतना वाइड है बिकॉज देर इज अज गैप इन टर्म्स ऑफ द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ दी सर्विसेज एंड एक्चुअली पीपल आर यूजिंग इट तो कंजम्पन इंडिया में बढ़ेगा तो डिमांड हर एक चीज की बहुत अब बहुत बड़ा गैप है विच विल यू नो बेनिफिट मेनी सेक्टर्स एंड कंपनीज Uh, actually मेरा एक क्वेश्चन था रिलेटेड टू फाइव जी का जो अभी चल रहा है हमारे यहाँ पे ठीक है right. तो क्या ये मतलब एक्सपेक्टेड है कि इस साल कुछ हो सकता है इसमें इस सेक्टर में और कौन कौन से रिलेटेड uh, सेक्टर मतलब uh, में अपॉर्चुनिटी बन पाएगी मतलब जस्ट फॉर द मतलब एनी आइडिया आप लोग दे सके थोड़ा बहुत तो कि मान लीजिए जैसे कि आई टी आई टी रिलेटेड जो फाइव जी में है ठीक है सॉरी मतलब फाइव जी में जो काम कर रहे हैं आई टी या फिर प्रोडक्ट रिलेटेड कुछ कंपनीज है या फिर मेनली जो प्योरली टेलीकॉम्स में है तो कहाँ पे हम लोगों को कुछ ज्यादा फोकस करना चाहिए या अपॉर्चुनिटी ढूंढनी चाहिए जहाँ पे हम लोगों का कुछ अच्छा मतलब 
मतलब कुछ कम लोग जवाब दे रहे इनडायरेक्टली हेल्प दिस फाइव जी थिंग just to add you know uh, ajay yeah, those companies which are working on metaverse those companies which are working on cloud those working company which are working on virtual uh, you know meeting rooms they all will benefit out of it you need speed basically you know and that's that's how there are many tech companies in india uh, i wish that we could have uh, uh, we could have uh, some companies like uh, you know facebook google uh, in india which are in a very advanced stage of uh, creating meta worlds and ar and vr uh, you know uh, technology to use your future mobile uh, technology but my sense uh, we are little behind but having said that uh, the adoption will be very fast i don't know about whether this will come this year or not by the way on a lighter note 2g 3g chal nahi raha hai ab 5g pata nahi kaise chalayenge ye yahan tab se we are just struggling with the basic connection only But having said that, I see that uh, uh, it should come in the right way. Uh, we are also expecting this year. Yeah. So, One more thing, I would like to add, Shetesh. Uh, yeah. Up as an investor, हमने कभी भी कोई कंपनी का जैसे कोई डिस्कस कर लिया या किसी ने बता दिया आपको, please वो टिप्स पे कभी मत जाइए और एक चीज हमेशा ध्यान रखिए, कभी भी कोई स्टॉक आप बाय कर रहे हैं, वो सपोज करिए आज हंड्रेड रुपीस है, कल मार्केट में कोई न्यूज़ आ गई, it went up to hundred and five, hundred and ten. अगेन वो न्यूज आ जाती है 115 हो जाता है 20 हो जाता है प्लीज एज एन रिटेल इन्वेस्टर अवॉइड सच मूव्स कभी भी आपको ऐसा होता है मैं क्योंकि टेक्निकल सिखाता भी हूँ इसलिए मैं आपको मतलब बिना उसके एक, एक ऐसी ये रिकॉर्ड हो रही है इसलिए आराम से बोल भी सकता हूँ इस पर इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है कभी भी ऐसी मूव किसी स्टॉक में आ जाए प्लीज सौ रुपए का एक सौ पे मत को दिए आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन रफ एग्जाम्पल जो लास्ट डे लास्ट टू डेज और लास्ट वन वीक में उस एक पर्टिकुलर कैंडल उस पर्टिकुलर एक मूव को 50 परसेंट रिट्रेस हो जाने दीजिए आप एक्चुअली में हाई पे एंटर करने से बच जाएंगे देर आर मेनी अदर वेज बट आप इस चीज का ध्यान रखें प्लीज क्योंकि हाई पे हमें नहीं लेना है बिकॉज इन 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 इन्वेस्टमेंट इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट योर एंट्री एंड वेरी मच इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट योर एग्जिट ऑल्सो तो आप किस भाव पे आ रहे हैं किसी कंपनी में किस भाव पे निकलेंगे वो आपको बहुत देख के आना है एज एन रिटेल इन्वेस्टर हमारी सौ पांच सौ शेयर की क्षमता होगी हम अगर उस भाव पे ले लेंगे तो नीचे में ना तो हम ले पाएंगे और फिर हम कहेंगे हम फंस गए तो ऐसी मूव्स किसी स्टॉक कंपनी में हो अगर आप लेना भी चाहते हैं तो आराम से लीजिए करेक्शन में लीजिए मार्केट कहीं नहीं भाग रहा है कई साल से यहाँ पे आगे भी यही रहेगा पुनीत भाई वो मार्केट में बोलते है ना कि भाव भगवान है बिल्कुल जी <laughs> भाव भगवान मेरा सबसे यही रिक्वेस्ट है की जब भी आप कुछ बाय कर रहे हैं वो लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से बाय करें इन्वेस्टमेंट्स में ओनली देन यू कैन क्रिएट सम वेल्थ टू बी क्लियर अबाउट एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम यू नो सो वी हैव टू वाइंड अप द स्पेस एंड वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी कैन टेक इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम टू एनालाइज योर सेल्फ अगेन हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट निफ्टी का इंडेक्स फंड ले लीजिए या कुछ अच्छे म्यूचुअल फंड ले लीजिए डोंट गेट इन टू दिस कि दैट बाकी लोग क्या कर रहे हैं वो स्टॉक्स की बात कर रहे हैं देखिए हर जगह पीपल विल टॉक अबाउट दिस सक्सेस स्टोरी कोई ये नहीं बताएगा कहाँ उनका सौ का दस रह गया या सौ का बीस रह गया सौ का पचास रह गया पीपल विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ दे मेक्स हंड्रेड आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज समथिंग आप ऑल द एमिनेंट स्पीकर हुआ देर दे कैन से दे कैन एक्चुअली वाउच फॉर बॉड एंड सही सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल माइक्रो नो माइक्रो इज नॉट देर सो माई आई आई वुड लाइक टू कंक्लूड दिस एंड वी हैव राइट नाउ टू स्पीकर डॉक्टर साहब इज देर पुनीत एंड विकास आर देर एनी पार्टिंग रिमार्क्स पुनीत विकास डॉक्टर साहब Punit, please pass it. Sir, uh, what I would like to say today's session was actually very good. Um, the best part is we didn't cover any companies. We tried to educate uh, or we tried to part impart the uh, knowledge, uh, which was like how to analyze your business, how to analyze the companies. Don't just jump in any in any anyone is saying. Don't buy on uh, tips. don't buy, buy the dips so that's that's a that's a theory and buy the business not the companies okay thanks so companies will come actually thanks. afterwards so vikas your thought 
सो मैं सिर्फ इतने से ही अपना क्लोज करूंगा कि वी हैव अ वेरी गुड स्कोप इन इंडिया बट बिल्कुल कैरीड अवे होके मत लीजिए थोड़ा सा रिसर्च करिए एंड या इफ यू आस्क अस दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सेक्टर्स वी कैन लुक एट सो मे बी अ टेक्नोलॉजी बैंकिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड कैपिटल गुड सेक्टर डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट मेकिंग कंपनीज और डिफेंस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तो ये पांच या छह थीम के अराउंड अगर आप रहते हैं तो आई थिंक यू कैन कवर मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स ऑफ द मार्केट एट एंड पिक लेस नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स बट इन गुड क्वांटिटी ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम डोंट डोंट ट्राई टू ऐड यू नो 100 200 स्टॉक्स एंड देन यू एंड अप नोवेयर एलोकेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट वाज अ वेरी गुड इंट्रोडक्शन टुडे थैंक्स एवरीवन एवरी स्पीकर एंड एवरी कोहोस्ट फॉर योर पार्टिसिपेट हियर वी विल कनेक्ट यू Thank you for sparing time. Thank you, Puni. Thank you, Vikas. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chetan. Thank you. Thank, thank you all. Thank you, Chetan. Thank you, Vikas. Thank you, Doctor. 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 Thank you, Doctor.